Welcome back or welcome to Yoga with Kira. Uh, this is day 11 of GLOW. So yeah, glowing up your practice. Uh, there's something about really being conscious of how I move my hands that's connecting my body in a new way. Um, realizing that there's ranges that aren't possible when you want to hold something. Yeah, really, I could feel a sense of excitement in my nervous system yesterday that I had discovered something that I hadn't known so obviously. Something implicit became explicit. It became really obvious. Of course, yes, I can't do that. Um, and so, yeah, so when, we can, when we're limited by something, we grow in new and unexpected ways. Um, so, yeah, I'm really deep into expanding into the unknown spaces that are presenting all the time uh, because of limitations, because of restrictions, because of whatever, you know? Um, so great, so come rest in onto your back and we shall begin. Um, yeah, come, we're gonna do the wave, come. Have your little stones handy or coins or night lights or whatever it is that you have. Um, we will be using them. So great, so land in, arrive on your mat. Feel the floor beneath you. I love really settling in, noticing the contact, the support, and how present I am in my body as a result. As I come into relationship to the floor, I notice my relationship to my body. And just settle, land. Let's begin to rock your knees from side to side. I'm just listening. I can feel the inner thigh work that we're doing. I can feel that in the deep of my belly. It's amazing how dull it is today. Like it's all clouded over. It looks like we've gone backwards around 20 minutes in the cycle of the sun. Amazing what cloud cover can do. <laughs> it's always that thing when you're flying into Ireland and you know, the whole of the, you see the whole of the Alps and the whole of France and the whole of England and the whole of the sea. And then you approach Ireland and there's clouds. <laughs> nice, come back to center, squeeze your right knee up towards you. And just pause. And you see if you can bring your breath into relationship with your thigh as you deeply sink. Nice. Other side. Left knee comes up towards you. Sink it in. Deepen. Nice, and land. So I'm going to change my orientation so you can see my legs. And so when we're in the glow flow on the floor, I'm in a good place. Yes, I'm in a good place. So when we're in the glow flow on the floor, we start with the soles of our feet together and our knees are apart. So come into that position on the floor. So your back is on the floor, your legs are in the air, knees are bent, and the soles of your feet are on the floor. So reach down and hold on to your ankles and just pull your ankles towards your hips. I just breathe into this. Notice the shape of you, the shapes of you. Without judging, just go, great, this is where I am today. Notice the sensations of you. Your legs, your back, your shoulders, your length of your spine. Nice. And then release your legs and bring your fingertips to the floor into spiders. So we're gonna support our torso by really pushing our fingertips into the floor or really pushing our elbows in. But my hands are in the way when I push my elbows in. So I'm gonna push my hands in. So then spiral your right leg so that your right knee comes to your left foot. And I'm in windscreen wipers to the... So my knees are to the left. So windscreen wipers to the left or zigzag in the air to the left. Bring the soles of your feet back together. Spiral the left thigh in, bring your left knee to your right foot. And now I'm windscreen wipers to the right or zigzag in the air to the right. 
And so travel, soles of your feet together, spiral the right knee in, soles of your feet together, spiral the left thigh in. I'm just feeling that. Soles of your feet together, spiral your right thigh in, knee to your foot, soles of your feet together, spiral your left thigh in and soles your feet together so both knees in both feet wide we can't do that one on the floor both feet together knees wide knees together feet wide feet together knees wide and then do windscreen wipers from side to side so they're both moving so it's like zigzag in the air to the right zigzag in the air to the left one more time, zigzag in the air to the right, zigzag in the air to the left. So stretch your right leg out to the side and pause there. So now my leg is out to the side and we do this on the floor as well. The left knee is bent and the right leg stretches out to the side. Pause. Deepen into your breath. Nice, soles of your feet together. Lengthen your left leg out to the side. Pause. Come back to center and then both feet wide. What is wide for you? Stretch down into your heels and just feel gravity working on your inner thighs, inner knees, deep belly, pelvic floor lower back nice. and then just roll your ankles last movement here and in the other direction super bend your knees bring your feet to the floor pause nice rock your knees from side to side so that's really there was, um, yeah, so that's really met the quality of my pelvis and the quality of sensation in my inner thighs. It feels really different now than before. Nice. Pause. And we're just gonna come into a twist. So drop, bring your feet together, your ankles together, your knees together, arms are wide, and then drop both knees down to the right. And then bring your left foot up so that it rests on the right knee. Bring your right hand over so you're holding on to the outside of your left knee. And then turn your head towards the left and reach your left arm in a way. Find the sweet spot or the angle that feels just right. For me, it's at a 45 degree angle out from my ear. And then I'm going to draw my shoulder down towards the floor there. And at the same time, I'm creating some resistance into my knee. Breathe into it. Nice, bend your elbow, and bring your left foot to the floor. And when you come back to center, push your elbows down, lift your shoulders, push your feet down, lift your hips, and you will be more or less back in alignment in the spine again after doing that. Ankles together, knees together, drop down towards the left, and then glide your right foot up so it rests somewhere on the right, on the left knee, somewhere there. Take your left hand, hold on to the outside of your right knee, and then turn your head towards the right and find the sweet spot for your arm and sink down and deep into your right shoulder. Create some resistance with the left hand on the, on the right knee. And just breathe into that. Let's come all the way back to center and then just roll up and down along your spine. So lift your hips, lowering down. Actually, we didn't bring our spine back to straight. So lift your shoulders, lift your hips, and then roll up and down along your spine. Lifting your hips, 
rolling down. Lift your hips. And just feel like you're massaging out through the spine as you do this. A little bit of movement in many different places is what we're looking for. It's not really exaggerating one range or glorifying one range. It's more how many different ranges or how many different ways can we do the same movement? You might notice that I'm always changing how we do things because there's no one way for anything. Anyone says that this is the only way you should do something, run. <laughs> so just rolling up and down, feeling into your body as you roll, noticing what you're feeling, how you're adapting, how you're changing this movement to suit you today. Nice. Next time that you rise, pause. Feet are flat on the floor, feet are pushing down. Sense of really squeezing into the buttocks, lifting up through the hips. You're gonna push your fingertips into the floor, into spiders, and just have a sense of length through your arms, connection into your body. Come all the way down, roll over, and push back into your downward dog. Pull your heels down. Lengthen through your body. Have a bit of a wiggle. Stretch the right leg up towards the ceiling. Draw your right knee forward towards your forehead. Turn your left foot towards the left and sit your right bum down. Maybe you did that with your left, right leg floating. Maybe you brought your right foot to the floor. See what's right for you. Stretch the right leg long in front of you and reach down towards your right leg. So I've ended up on the right leg long, left foot is on the floor. Draw your forehead down towards the right leg. So we did dancing dog into wild thing. Nice. Come all the way back. Bend your right knee and either keep your foot floating or bring your right foot to the floor to help you push up. So see what you want to do. Bring both feet to the floor, lengthen through your body. Nice. Other side. So stretch the left foot up towards the ceiling, lengthening long. Bend your left knee up towards your head and forehead. Turn your right foot towards the right. And maybe keep your left foot floating as you sit your bum down. Maybe you bring your left foot to the floor. Stretch your left leg long in front of you. Round forward, down towards that left foot. Nice. So either bend your left knee and bring your foot to the floor or bend your left knee and let it float back Bring both feet to the floor. Stretch back into your downward dog. So we're going to do that again. Stretch your right foot up towards the ceiling, long and strong up with your right leg. Bend your right knee towards your forehead. Either bring your right foot to the floor or turn your toes towards the left and stretch your right leg long in front of you. Reach down towards your right foot. Drop your forehead down. And then as you rise up, reach your left arm into elephant and turn your chest towards the ceiling. Nice. Bring your left hand to the floor. Either let your foot float back or bring your left foot, right foot to the floor. And come all the way back. Downward dog. Last of these. Lengthen your left leg up towards the ceiling. Bend your left knee up onto your forehead. Turn your right toes towards the right. Sweep the left leg forward in front of you. Reach down towards the left leg. Leg is long. 
And then as you sit up, sweep your right arm long beside your ear into elephant and then spiral towards the ceiling with your face. Bring your right hand to the floor and come all the way back, downward dog. How <laughs> cool, guys. That was really cool. Slowly walking forward, slowly rolling all the way up. Reach your arms wide, bring your palms together. Palms come to rest in front of your chest. Nice. So grab your stones. We won't be doing a huge amount with them today, but just a little element. So Bring your feet wide. So we're going to do water washing with stones. So bend your knees and bring your elbows to your knees. And you have your two stones in your hands. So how are you going to keep them in your hands is the question. So sweep, turn your chest towards the, mm -hmm, the, turn the feet towards the left. And then sweep your right hand towards the left. And you come back into double knee and then sweep the left hand towards the right. So it's much more knee bendy. I'm not sweeping down towards the floor. I'm moving through kind of like a lawnmower. And then left arm over towards the right. Lawnmower. Right arm over towards the left. So you're traveling back through double knee, double elbow. Double knee, double elbow, over towards the left. Double knee, double elbow, over towards the right. Nice. So pause with your left hand over towards the right, and then reach up a bit higher, like you're saying, oh, you, you want my marshmallow? <laughs> and reach up, and notice how you have to spiral your hand to keep your stone on your hand. So feel that. My baby toe finger is spiraling forward, my thumb is pulling back and then get longer through the left side of your body. Nice. Come all the way back, both elbows to your knees, other side, over right hand over towards the left and then rise as far as you can. But to keep the stone on your hand, you have to spiral your hand. I can feel my shoulder is doesn't have that range. So interesting doesn't have an internal rotation very clearly. The other side does. So just feel that. Where do you go as you spiral your hand? How far is well for you? Nice. Come all the way back. Drop your stones. Bring your hands to the floor. And then just travel a little bit with support. Hands on the floor support. Nice. Walk your feet a little bit closer together. Bring your left hand to the floor in front of your face and pull your right elbow back into lawnmower. Pause. See if it may, if you do, and so bring your hips a little bit towards the left. So definitely your hips move towards the right as you did this. So lean a little bit of weight back into the left foot, back into the left buttock. You can turn your head towards the right or keep looking at the floor. I like looking at the floor here for some reason. Nice. Right hand to the floor in front of your face. Pull your left elbow back. And all your weight has traveled to the left now. So bring the weight back into the right bum, right leg. Turn your head in whatever direction feels comfortable. Nice. Elbows to your knees, walk your feet, walk your feet. Come all the way up to stand, roll your shoulders into a deep circle. And then in the other direction. Nice, make fists out of your hands, roll your wrists in deep circles. And I'm including the elbows in this movement. I have a really deep sense of rolling my arms and then roll in the other direction. It's like you're kneading a huge lump of dough. <laughs> nice, open and close your fingers. Cool, come sit on the floor. Soles your feet together, knees apart, like the way we did on this, in the air earlier. And then spiral your right knee in. 
So we're doing zigzag, we're doing hands up in the beginning, if we can. Soles your feet together. Spiral the left knee in. And come back together. So the next one is slightly different. So you're gonna bring your left hand to your to the left. You're gonna bring both knees on top of each other. And then slide your right hand under or between your two ankles. So you're holding on to the under ankle, which is my left. <laughs> and then hop your hand up until you feel like you're on your fingertips of your left hand and you're trying to lengthen your spine. The, the ratchet or the, the bending of your right elbow will really support your torso. Sit up tall. So it's a really big side bend because your right hip is way up in the air and your left hip is on the ground and you're trying to sit up tall. So your left side is super lengthening right now. So stay where you are or bend your left elbow and reach your left hand up towards the ceiling. That might be totally impossible because of the, the flexibility of your spine right now. So whatever version, either fingers on the floor creating length or reaching your hand up creating length is perfect. Maybe lean a bit towards the right with your left hand. Super, bend your elbow, soles your feet together, come back to center and then bring your left knee. So right hand to the floor, bring your left knee on top of your right, tuck your left hand under. So you hold on to the right ankle, come up onto your fingertips of your hand. So you're sitting up tall, deeply side bending into your waist as you do this into the belly. So often when we side bend, we change our torso in relationship to our pelvis. This is one where we've changed our pelvis in relationship to our torso. So stay where you are or bend your right elbow into your side really strongly. And then slowly let your right hand unfold upwards, creating length upwards. That hand in the air might not be possible, might be very possible. See what's right. Typically, this is a very generic thing, but typically this is really hard for men. Uh, the flexibility in your waist is not the same. So know that wherever you are in this is really, really awesome. The fact that you're just doing it. Okay. Yeah, so we just were built differently in certain ways. Bend your elbow, bring the soles of your feet together. Come lie on the floor all the way down landing in onto the floor pause and then just rock your knees from side to side so the landscape of my sensation since the beginning of the class has really altered i feel much more um, limber mobile much more at ease through the belly the hips the buttocks the spine my shoulders feel much more alive I feel connected and vibrant within myself. Nice, pause. What's alive for you as you lie here? What is your wellness? Stay there or roll over onto your side and pause. Maybe set an intention. Very interesting for me in my day, suddenly my intention will pop up like a memory and I'll self um, analyze as to, did I do my intention today? Is it worming and weaving its way into my actions. So set your intention. Nice. Well, I hope you have a fan freaking tastic day. I really like that word, fan freaking tastic. And uh, yeah, how lovely, how wonderful. Um, I'm really liking glow. Oh, I've decided what we're doing for um, April and uh, I, I'll be launching the plan. I've, I've got to do a photo shoot. Mm, I've been thinking the bog, 
bog is calling me. The, the light up in the bog at the moment is amazing. So I do a photo shoot and then I'm going to launch April. Da, da, da. Another awesome month of yoga. And um, yeah, have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful, um, yeah, have a wonderful day. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Uh, thanks for joining me. Ciao, ciao, slow. Thank you.